It has been almost six months since I got my 1974 T2 VW camper van. Now I've always wanted one of these ever since I was a kid and seeing this thing online, I just knew it was the one for me. I mean, it was the perfect color. It has the Type 4 2 liter engine, which is slightly more powerful. And as a nice bonus, they'd also done a twin carb conversion on it. I mean, this thing actually puts out about 100 brake horsepower, making it pretty speedy in the world of camper vans. Now I'm not saying it's been plain sailing, in fact I've had to replace quite a large quantity of the engine because lots of parts kept breaking, but recently it's been running incredibly smoothly and I thought to celebrate the 6 month anniversary and also to cheer up my girlfriend Vicky who's been feeling a little bit ill lately, we'll go on a bit of a camping trip down in the south of England. We really had no clue where we were going. We were just parking up at random locations, unpacking everything, concluding that actually it probably wouldn't be that good for camping, then packing everything up and moving on. And at this point, the weather was also being very typically English. But I was fairly confident that as the sun was falling in the sky, we were going to get a clear spot before the sunset. So I kind of wanted to head towards higher ground. So, we missed golden hour tonight, but we'll get it tomorrow morning. Let's go get food now. <laughs> we've, we've, run out, we've run out of sun. And with the light completely fading on us, we essentially gave up. We walked back down towards the camper van with our tails between our legs and actually concluded that where we parked was really quite scary in the dark. So we drove down towards Bracklesham Bay. Now, this is a place that I'm fairly familiar with because I occasionally go surfing there and I thought it would be cool to wake up with the sights and sounds of the beach in the morning. Except we never got to experience that because, long story short, we got scared once again. Uh, this time I would say it's for a fairly justified reason uh, and that is the fact that at about 1.30 in the morning another car pulled into the car park. So we were the only people there in this kind of little beach town car park type area camping away uh, and then this other car pulls in and parks up pretty much next to us. They park one space away which is totally fine. There's there's nothing to what about that but obviously it's 1.30 in the morning. It's a man and a woman in the car. Uh, you can kind of put two and two together there. So about 20 minutes later they back up and begin to leave the car park and me and Vicky Obviously, because we find this very funny, we were kind of peeking through the curtains. And as we were doing this, the car decided to park across the only exit to the place. So there's this car park, there's the exit, they kind of park across it and then turn off their car. Which suddenly made us feel really quite vulnerable because we're the only people there. We're, there's no one else around, it's 1.30 in the morning and now they've kind of blocked off our only exit to this place. We have no clue kind of what to do in this situation. And we're kind of sat there panicking, stressing out, thinking that they're going to come over and like break into the camper van and murder us or something. Thankfully, about two minutes later, they turned their car back on and left, but we were suitably spooked from this experience <laughs> and we decided to pack everything up and leave. So I apologize for our failed camping experience. I hope you enjoyed the video anyway, uh, and hopefully I can do some more successful camps in the future.